today. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And off we go from Uptown Charlotte. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, this offense, Charles, well, we've talked about how well they played all season. Sitting now at 13-0 and with a finish line for a perfect regular season. That's in sight. Some of the media this week were pointing back to the 07 Patriots. First, remember, they finished the regular season unbeaten, but they were tested multiple times in that final month plus. Yeah, it was something like four of their last six wins were one possession games, and they played like a team that was trying to protect something instead of chasing something. And that's what happens when you have an undefeated record. So it behooves you as a team, get a couple blowouts in there so you get a chance to relax and breathe. But that's much easier said than done. Garoppolo to throw for it on fours. On the slant complete to Hopkins. On the move past the 40. Touchdown, Carolina! DeAndre Hopkins with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Panthers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. A gutsy call, fourth and short. They go for it. Look at the result. Yeah, not only did they go for it, they threw for it because to me it was stacked up for a run situation strength on strength and they decided to put the ball in the air and what a result big time play So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Now a Carolina native, former Tar Heel, it's Javante Williams. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Williams going to get it again on second down. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. From the gun, it's Tua. This one swung out to Williams. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tua sets up to pass it. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. Screen play set up for Williams. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his Tonga Vailoa on third down here. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. 
On second down and four, Garoppolo. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Jair Elo makes a pick. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched a playoff spot, but they know, looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. After the turnover, it's Tua. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. to throw and too much juice it'll be out of bounds incomplete oh that's gonna hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down and that is no good and the deficit will stay at two field goals And this one winds up no good. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 21 carries, 86 yards. And a rushing title's definitely within sight, so the excitement on the offensive side of the football, I mean, they're bouncing off the walls wanting to get out there, but they also understand that they're going to face some really stacked defenses down the stretch because they don't want it to happen at their expense. And a big game that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10. Down at the 31. They'll run right side with Mostert. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Now a give to Mostert running right. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll get this down only to the 18. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Here comes the seventh play now in this drive as this is third and 10. To throw is Garoppolo. And he's got his man. It's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. And Parker, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. down to kick it away following the touchdown. The return man down to a knee and this will come out to the 25 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. 
The tackle there by Quandre Diggs. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And it's out, he put it on the carpet. And his guys are gonna get the football at the 37 yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to an even 20. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Steelers on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Two are going to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And that stretches the lead to 27. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. It's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javarius Ward, and the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's McKissick. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. When we talk about the finger, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. Could have been his second, but instead it's fourth down. Tucker's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. 
Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. Oh, and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Tucker now for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And this one taken in by Cephas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, Tunga Bailoa. He completes it to Henry. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Again, they will throw it with Tagamailoa. And his throw here is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Open man is Duvernay. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. Sanders kick is good and they'll get back three but this remains a large deficit well still trailing here but they do get the late field goal now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room yeah and trailing it to break you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play give them credit for that one finding a way to put points on the board give them any type of a spark all right we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early the Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you just have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll earn a couple of tough yards past the 30 to the 31. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after it. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. 
Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. I mean, just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter, I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but these small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. No, they're not. And right now, the guys stopping the run have been superior in this ball game, giving them no openings, no seams, and now they've got this game well in hand. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Looking to pass to him. And he'll find Pittman. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Well, a lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. Now, they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Steelers are gonna have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Williams will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Williams will try again, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Javante Williams with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead drops from 34 down to 27. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here's they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on the way to a lopsided victory. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Got his target, Samuel. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Runs over him. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. A play fake for Mostert, now Garoppolo. And a catch made by Hopkins. Down inside the 10. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Give him 30 yards there. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Zay Jones, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Tucker with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. 
We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Demarcus Lawrence make that now eight sacks for him on the season. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way and are still picking up sacks as we approach them. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Open man, the tight end, Henry. 20, 10, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Hunter Henry, 67 yards. And the Steelers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And a decisive advantage became even more decisive. They already had the win in hand, but they keep pressing the tempo, and they pile on with another touchdown reception. Would you consider that touchdown a reward to all the tight ends on their roster for their effort today? Not just running their routes, but all the time they spent in the trenches, laying down blocks, doing the little things to help that offense succeed. And for doing all of that, they definitely want one of their tight ends to get a touchdown to really seal this blowout. Fields it right around the goal line. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. the handoff this is Moster and of the 42 yard line here and brought down there and now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up on first and 10 it's Moster and he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory the previous run good for nine here's second and a yard oh he's got a little daylight and he's going to take this all the way down to the Steelers six yard line now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Mostert will take this one in. Touchdown, Carolina. So another rushing touchdown for him this year. Boy, he's found the end zone quite a bit so far. Charles, that now an even 20 scores on the season. And you know how often we use the term, probably I overuse the term, imposing their will? Well, these defenses have become really powerless to stop him. That's what we've seen from him and his team this year. You know he's getting the ball down here in the red zone, but he's just got that strength of will himself, and he's used it to great effect. one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss and no effort to bring this one out it's a touchback the Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive 
Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Two and now on first down. Man open left side, it's Williams. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Throwing again on second down. Tua, that's taken in by Duvernay. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down, but this one lines up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. And again, it's Tungabailoa. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And now here is another interception. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Panthers will take over possession here right up at the right 44. Right well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. They'll start on the ground with Mostert, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And he's going to take this one down to about the 46-yard line. And now they're in the hurry-up. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Oh, Garoppolo's going to throw it. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, fans usually love to 